Okay, well, look, you, you were trying to get that fish to fly. It didn't work too well, did no, it? No, not really well. Well, look, let's show you how the fishes actually do fly. Would you like sure. to hold that okay. in your hands there? Now, um, just hold it up. Now, would you start to blow across the top of it? Because what we're about to show all the viewers out there is exactly how they can get a real lift out of something. I guess they can see how it's starting to come up, but you... Well, you're going to run out of air oh, soon, so look, let's, let's just turn you around. I borrowed my daughter's hairdryer here, and all, right. all the, uh, the young kids out there can do this. It's much more fun uh -huh. if you've got something blowing all the time. Let's just switch this on. You hold it up like you were holding it up before. Like that? There we are. Now, see how it lifts up much better and oh, much more smoothly than yeah. you did? Let's get rid of the wrinkles there. And that's how a plane flies. Right. It's actually how the fish flies too, by getting more air across the top than underneath. Uh, you watch what happens if I speed it up a little bit. Oh, wow. All right, it lifts yeah, up even gone. higher. Of course, you can see it's shaking down the bottom end there. Yeah. Well, if it shakes too much, the whole thing won't work. It gets too turbulent. But this is a principle that was discovered by uh, Danny Bernoulli way back in the 1700s. I see. And it's a very interesting case of science, Graham, because it's an example of where we knew why something would fly even before we could make anything fly. So let's get this straight. Jet airplanes all have big uh, hair dryers in the wings, and that's how they well, fly. Well, I guess that's one way of saying it. Yeah, anyone who talks right. about fish like you do would say that about jet uh -huh. planes. So Fair that's enough. all right, Graham, but it's not too bad. But here's something really interesting they can do, and those early scientists were sure that if they could find God's laws out there in nature, mm -hmm. then they could really get our lives up and running. So right. let, let's just hold that little balloon there for okay. me, will you? And uh, anyone who can borrow a hair dryer uh, can do this. You can just let it go. Wow. Now, you see, if I turn it up even higher, it'll lift up, but of course, what's keeping it up there, I can tap it a little bit and it comes, see how it's bouncing backwards and forwards? I can cut the air down and it'll come down again. And the faster the air moves, the lower the pressure gets. I see. And that means this air out here, which isn't moving, has got a higher pressure, so it pushes in on the balloon. This air pushes in on the balloon and actually keeps it in the middle there. See how I can tap it backwards and forwards? Mm -hmm. And if you get a lower pressure on the top of the wing and a higher pressure underneath, it will actually lift the plane up. Of so course, planes have actually got balloons in their wings. No, and that's how they... no, no. You, you'll be telling me they've got fishes next. But this is the air principle, the pressure, the law that's out there. Of course, if you get rid of the air pressure, you watch what happens. Yeah. It all falls down again. No so fun. if you break the laws that are out there, it won't work. Right. Now, let me start up again. Let's turn up the air pressure a bit. Let's see Whoa. how good we get. Away we go, and uh, I've got another balloon here, if I can actually hold it up. It's got a hand edge on. Oh, there we go. There we are. And you can have fun all the time. Let's because... try this glass. No, right? don't try the glass. Okay. What it reminds me of, of course, is that just as if you follow God's laws in nature, you can really get up and running. If you follow God's laws for your life, you can really get your life up and running as well. I see. That's, that's the way it, it works, Graham. It's uh, really fantastic. You can change speed every now and then. Well, oh, we've had a fall out. out. You see, if you break the laws and cut the current, your life falls down again. So the basic principle is whatever God's laws is, if you want your life up and running, find it and follow it.